Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of the King Rules in the Making History the Great War as Germany. And yeah, let's continue on. The last time uh, we went to war with the Ottoman Empire, and there's a lot of rebellion all over this territory. It is not the Middle East because then Ethiopia does not fall into the category of the Middle East, and so, so doesn't uh, Libya. But like, there's no category to call. All of this, maybe the Arab world, but still, like South Ethiopia, I would not call them the Arab worlds, but maybe some people would. Um, also, China is gaining like control of all the modern day uh, regions that it controls, and maybe Mongolia even. Um, <laughs> this is the first thing I see this, but apparently, Africa is having what looks like aborigine rebellions which is i mean good for the aborigines um and good for me because now australia won't be able to join or when it joins uh, with england against me it, it will be less powerful so that's good oh again also all of south america is having not all of south america but the large portion of south america is having rebel problems as is the central not the central america but just Central America, so that is interesting. I guess I don't know. I don't know what how else to comment on this, but there's a lot of rebellions in the world, and hopefully, it won't come uh, to Germany because if it does, it will cause a lot of problems, um, as you might imagine. Also, the the first episode was like 27 minutes long, and then uh, also I declared war on the Balkan states, so Montenegro, Serbia. Bulgaria, Romania, and those. Okay. Russia did not join. Russia did not join. Great. Um. What is this? No, this is not mine. This is mine. Uh. Bombard this. Can I? Can I kind of tell him to bombard like Belgrade? Yes. I mean, it really doesn't count. I don't really care. No, I'm going to bomb Bel Belgrade just because of the historical, not importance, but historical attachment to it, I guess. Like, historically what happened is, in matter of like, maybe, not maybe days, I would even say hours of the declaration of the First World War, like, uh, Russia Hungary started bombing Belgrade, and just because of that I want to bomb it just to be, I don't know, relevant, I guess. Not relevant, I don't know what word I, I would use there, just... The referential, I guess, that something happened in real life, and I'm going to replicate it um, just for the fun of it. I need when are the mechanized farms We're going to be done. Like, come on, they, that they can't come sooner. But yeah, like the first episode, it was 26 minutes long, the second one was like 36, and the, the third one was 30 something. I want to make this 20 minutes long, but I'll, I'll just, I would start, I started using now, and what I used, um. Sure, if the United States wants to give me gold to go to war with the uh, with sovereign little states, then I sure the hell not. Like Woodrow Wilson would be is turning in his grave right now. Well, not really. I personally don't like Woodrow Wilson because, well, he was like he's known in history for oh peace, oh peace in the world. He ended the First World War. He want his oh, he was for peace. He wanted this. He wanted that. While he said that the Caribbean and and all the islands in here in the Caribbean that I'm pointing on the minimap were America's, I'm going to actually show you. Like all these islands were just uh, in America's back, ga uh, back, uh, guard, back garden. <coughs> I don't know what I'm talking, talking about. I'm a bit tired. Um, basically, what he he advocated for is for the colonization of all these. Caribbean islands and it said like they were in America's backyard and he kind of launched the invasion on Haiti and set up um, a regional government that was, that was ruled with um, ruled by the one of, like most racist um, Americans uh, while Haiti had a, like a majority of population was black and he like yay free states 
yay free state in Europe while I'm colonizing the and, and practically enslaving to a certain degree the population of the Caribbean like when he didn't enslave the people at Haiti but imagine you being black and having um, having somebody that is so racist that he would burn you at uh, on a tree lynch you at a tree in a heartbeat heartbeat like that's not a good uh, thing whatsoever and I, I don't like him just because of that just because history remembers him for being the good guy while well, he did a lot of bad shit and I do not like when people who did a lot of bad shit get a good reputation uh, Kingdom of, of Montenegro uh, was founded by the Aston Empire okay so okay okay a, a lot of things are happening okay so what happened was Mont Montenegro so I attacked Montenegro and Austria helped with their men in fighting Montenegro and we won the battle in Montenegro in Cetinje and they kind of got the control of Montenegro and they decided to make it a puppet I mean I don't mind it it could have gone better no 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 I want to move you I want to move you I can't oh because you're you're technically still in a battle that is over okay when you're done with this battle I wanted to move into here how how is this going good for us like if I can like mop up all of the Balkans I might war with yeah I did not think I was maybe we should declare one of them I actually when I'm done with is Romania in this land I might war with Romania I'm not so in this war I'm going to like mop up Serbia Bulgaria the Ottoman Empire and then I'm going to go on to Greece and the Roman Empire uh, the Roman Empire and Romania and then I'll have like all of this under my control which or under the control of the Central European powers which is fantastic it's mighty good I'm gaining tons of coal while I'm not having a lot of other things which is something I'm not very happy about when are they industrialized uh, I'm lost for words. Brazil declared war on Tibet. Why the hell not? I'm just not even going to to question the things that happened. Why the hell not? Why, why, why the hell not? I make yeah, fucking thank you. Mechanized farms have been done in some provinces, at least one province. Um, things are doing not completely well here. Um. <laughs> cannery. I can make a cannery. I will actually start building some canneries. Let's build four of them and hopefully I can get some more weed out of them. Smoke weed. No, no, I, I will stop making that stupid joke. Um, make canneries. Hopefully make them fast. Um, I have a lot of money because like uh, the UK and uh, the USA are giving me money to for because I'm fighting these states down here because sure that makes sense but all the other things we are not doing terribly well at but hopefully uh, hopefully it will get fixed like what I'm looking out for is that I get the food problem fixed because um, all the mechanized farms are going to be done and because for the making of the mechanized farms uh, steel is used I will stop having problems with food because we'll have the mechanized farms, I won't. I will stop having problems with steel because all the steel that was used to make the mechanized farms will not be used to make mechanized farms anymore. And like with that, kind of solving the biggest problem, and then with that solving other problems. Nice, nice, succeeded from the kingdom of the joint. The emperor of North. Are, are you fucking kidding me? Um. Yes, give me money. So this is now in the control of Nard. Sure, that makes sense. Uh, okay, so you're not doing well down here. So my little buddy, uh, Yemen, is not doing well. Um. 
the, the world is in quite a chaos. Like all of all of uh, uh, Peru is under rebel control. I I don't even know. The world is an interesting place in this timeline. How is well, okay? So there's a certain like a big shift. Like last turn it looked like like China had it all, and this, this turn it looks weird. That's how I describe it. Just weird. Um. Yeah, let's continue onwards. Things are happening here. Oh, go into that province. You still just shell Belgrade because of the symbolic nature of it. Yeah, that's the word I was trying to not come up with. Just like remember, it's symbolic. I would should I take some units from here? I will take some units. Like Bavarian Euro, U, U, units fighting in Serbia. Well, that's nice, I guess. Okay, okay. Oh, Montenegro is growing. That is good, I guess. I mean, you better that than the Austria Hungary are growing. They, they have enough power. Maybe give, giving them too much power is not good. Uh, great mechanized farms are being done all over the place. I don't know if they they will like solve. I don't know if they will solve um, all the problems. Probably not. I don't know. I would attack. Just move there. Um, move to here. Um, uh, great. Uh, what will happen with Serbia? What will happen? Something will happen. Like either they will become integrated into the. Like, what I think is a bit problematic, and I don't know if I'm just getting it wrong. Finish now. Syria. Again, Osmana was found by the Dewey State. Okay. Interesting. The Australian. I, I don't know, I wouldn't call Australian Empire. Declared war on Tibet. Siam declared war on Tibet. The King of Syria declared war on the Ottoman Empire. This time is okay. Some interesting shit is happening in the world. The first thing. Um, I do not like this. I don't know how this is calculated, but like apparently every time I am fighting a battle with the Austrian Hungarians uh, against somebody, they if we win the battle, they gain the they gain the province rather than me gaining the province. So what I think is happening is because their turn comes before mine. Every battle that we fight and we win together, they will get the province. If it's that way, I do not like that. That's very... If it's if it works like that, it's very stupid. And it looks like it works like that, and I do not like that. Can I some, somehow force you um, to release Serbia? I, apparently I can't, which is less than fortunate. Can I... I will declare war on you a bit later. I will go into uh, Bulgaria next. So what happened? First, the Kingdom of Syria. I will make contact with you. I, I don't. This just looks like some like computer firm logo, or like communist ninjas because of the like the red symbol, um, and looks like a shuriken. I would say this is a nation of communist ninjas, but. Like, what do I know? Um, <laughs> proposed energy transfer, yes. I'll give you Berlin, and you give me this. No, just of course, just kidding. Um, sorry, that was my phone shaking, because I have it closed, because it's telling me what time it is. Um, yeah, request alliance duty. Yes. I mean, it's not that important, but every little helps. Um, hopefully, you will do something good. Also... You broke away. And now what happened? Propose. Yes. Uh, rejected. Okay. Oh. And are you under British rule? Or are you completely free? You're completely free. Then I will cut diplomatic ties. Because you don't want to join me. So fuck you. Um, let I take... What the hell, like, like so many states are just going to collapse because of rebellions. So, like, Tibet you're at war with... Oh, nobody has actual... Uh -huh. So you're at war with Republic... Okay, Tibet. 
we, we all know what it is. Is is that war with China makes sense with Spain? That makes sense, but whatever, like some colonial struggle. Uh, Australian Empire, Brazil, and Siam. I'm at loss for words. I don't know why. Like like the controls on the map is uh, are weird because uh, of many reasons, but I think the main reason is. Because of the frame rate difference, sometimes it's quite high, sometimes it's not that high. So, like when the frame rate is low, I'm moving slowly, and when it's high, I um, smoke weed. No, when it's high, it moves quicker, so it's weird. But I think that's more of a refs problem than just a regular this game problem, which is good. Um, like. Russia is pretty stable, I do not like that. A war of land between the settlers and the opponents in Brazil. Okay. The Kinos here, but that is great. I might be able to do something with that. Um, that is great, actually. That is good. That is... Okay. Mechanized farms. The mechanized farm deal, I thought they would like in my food production totally in the positive while getting this out of the negative I also how do I have a zero supply rate let's look at this a bit more um no let's first do the diplomatic thing is first so you are free let's propose um land treaty great so are do I have any armies can I kind of can I give you help somehow? I can financially aid you. <laughs> Cubans, the Kingdom of Syria trading in 1912. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, Financial aid agreement. I will give you. Not. I. I actually won't give you anything because if only one militia unit from the Ottoman box in their their country doesn't exist anymore, so I don't want to waste money on nothing. Yo, do. Oh, you don't have. Okay. Do you want to go into the lands? Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Um, who else might not have like international? Alliance like deals like Afghanistan. Uh, uh, yeah, we have diplomatic relations with you. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything else. Let's go to Brazil. So, wait, you are the Republic of Brazil. Okay, uh, this looks quite similar to the American flag or actually the composition of the American flag. Rather than the actual flag. Do you want to be an ally? They will accept. Great. So, I'm now at war with Brazil. No, I'm not, but I'm going to go to war with Brazil, which is, of course, worrying. Oh no, war with Brazil means imminent and certain death. So, that's a bad move for me. Of course, joking. Uh, my troops are here. Go move into uh, um, Bulgaria. What I want, I want. Why is this. What is this? Oh, this is like some mining resources. Undeveloped materials. Metals. I thought there was like like the holes in the gro ground from shelling. Okay, interesting. Um, there's a lot of like mechanized farms just being in the works. But let's go here and into the steel factories. What do steel factories need to be making steel? Go. And I don't have metals, and that's the reason why I can't make steel. Makes sense. So I can't make steel because I don't have the metals. So let's go on the world market, and buy some metals, buy metals every turn, smoke weed every day. No, just kidding. Um, do that. Next turn, oh, I will end this episode now. I have to, but let's see how that changes some stuff around. Um, there's a lot of things happening in the world, but, like, a lot of things happening with the Central European powers that are in the... 
Okay, a lot of civil wars, a lot of declarations. The Kingdom of Syria declared war on Brazil. I had like tons of these weird declarations of war, but I think this is the weirdest. Like the Kingdom of Syria declared war on Brazil. Mother of God. Um. Sure, well, hell not. Sure, sure, give me money. I don't know why I would decline them giving me money. But hey, you know. The, the, like, the Republic of Brazil is like probably going to get crushed in a matter, matter of days. Days. Um, oh, probably different ties. Uh, like, this is the majority of my foreign politics. It's just new nations accepting them, getting relations with them, and then. Uh, bring them into Central European powers of the Triple Attend. Do you want to be my ally? Yes, you will. Sure. I mean, now I'm very interested in the in the politics of South America because, well, <laughs> a major a big part of the land is there. Um, what else happened? Something also happened. Um, a lot of t uh, blah blah blah. Oh yeah, uh, this nation. Would you join? Sure, I will not. <laughs> like, what the fuck is happening? Even more, even more. What? I'm, I'm so baffled that I can't even speak. Let's go to the diplomatic uh, screen. Alliances. There's the alliance led by the British Empire, which okay, they have more of them, but they have like I have more interesting people. And I have actually less military points and world power points. I have less of them. But when the Soviets rise up, I will have more. And when I conquer the whole of the Balkans with their money that they are giving me, um, then it's going to be something different. Something very, very different. But yeah, I will end this episode now. Thanks for watching. Like and favoriting. Uh, subscribing, commenting, and all that nice stuff would be appreciated immensely. And things are going well. There's a lot of breath on this map. And it's not even communist for better or for worse, but yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.